Hello and welcome to Hot at Home, your questions answered. Um, today we've got a little something something from one of my loyal customers uh, of, hot, of the Hot at Home program. And uh, while there was no question asked, I thought it was a very interesting um, comment made and I thought there would be some helpful stuff to help other people with in this comment. So um, I'm going to share it with you and um, answer it, so to speak. Um, this person says, I presently get most of my exercise by building the playground uh, that I mentioned in my past email. I have built retaining walls using 70 pound blocks, moving, uh, lots of moving dirt, lots of stones for drainage, and digging to remove st tree stumps. I will be digging three foot deep holes for the posts that I will need, and then mixing and pouring of concrete. Uh, it seems that conventional exercise did not totally prepare me for this type of work. Soon I will be getting additional exercise when I start my garden, which is great. It sounds like you're very, very active, and um, it, it, I'm not sure if this is your job or if this is um, uh, leisure activity for you, this playground thing, but uh, uh, sounds like fantastic workout to me. <laughs> wow, I mean, there's lots of twisting and stooping and lifting and um, crouching and so lots of squatting type exercises and stuff like that, but you're right. Um, the reason I'm sharing this with everybody here today is because uh, conventional exercise, I'm not sure what you mean by conventional exercise. Uh, I assume you mean like, you know, going to the gym and doing some back rows and doing some chest presses and doing some pull-ups and doing some squats and, you know, taking a, a rest, at doing three sets of ten and doing, you know, taking rest in between each set and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, it could, that kind of, or, you know, cardio, uh, getting on a stationary cycle or going for a run. Uh, or that kind of thing. Yeah, you're right. That, that, that kind of conventional exercise probably wouldn't really help you that much. It will help you with some strength, but it won't help you with the, function, the functional stuff that you need, which is a lot of twisting and a lot of um, sort of pulling, like pulling, you know, pulling up when you're digging and uh, stuff like that. So uh, the kinds of exercises that you could be doing would be like lateral chopping, where you hold a dumbbell down uh, down by your uh, knees and then you twist your whole bo whole body until the dumbbell is up here behind your uh, behind your head and then back down and do a whole you know a bunch of reps on one side and then move to the other side and do it with the other side that would really help you out uh, that helps that'll help a lot of golfers out there as well that move a lot of twisting in that um, you can also do things like uh, um, like full body barbell moves or you can use dumbbells if you don't have a barbell but you can uh, like clean and push presses where the move starts at the ground the barbells on the ground and the top of the move is with the barbell above your head so you have to get it from the ground to above your head and that's going to work almost every part of your body but it's also going to uh, get you from a crouching position to a full up standing position so those kinds of exercises can really actually help out a lot with that kind of that kind of work that you have in front of you um, so there's uh, clean and push presses or squat presses or squat cleans. Uh, the clean move can really help you. Google that if you don't know what a clean move is. Um, or like uh, clean and jerk, that kind of thing. Uh, another thing that might really help you with this is swinging some kettlebells around, doing some, some one-arm snatches. You can do snatches with, um, with, with a barbell with both arms as well or, or one-arm snatch with dumbbells if you want. Um, but one-arm snatches, that kind of stuff will really help you. It can start you at the ground and it gets your body straight, standing straight up with your, one of your arms above your head at the top of the move and then right, you know, reversing it to get back down to the bottom. So those kinds of moves will really, really help you out. Um, you can also try lawnmowers. You need a fitness band for that. You just get a fitness band in the door anchor and you anchor it at the bottom of the door and then you, it's a pulling move uh, like you're trying to start a lawnmower. So that's also in the book. You can look that up. Um, actually, most of these are in the book, come to think of it. Everything I've mentioned so far. <laughs> Renegade Rose. Uh, those will help you out as well. Um, not exactly the same kinds of move you're do moves you're doing, but maybe. I mean, it's like a push-up move, only you're uh, with you've got your hands on, on a pair of dumbbells, and instead of um, instead of doing a push-up, you will row up with your with your arms while you keep your body in a plank position, and um, that that can also it's just one of those full body compound moves that can help you just with the more more the functionality part of it more than the strength part of it. You know what I mean? So um, anyway, thank you so much for the, uh, the comment on email. I really appreciate that. I think that um, this can really help out a lot of people that do, that do gardening and have other leisure activities that um, conventional, as you say, conventional exercise doesn't seem to help them with, you know. So, um, so thanks a lot for that. I really appreciate it. So hope you guys are all doing great, and we'll see you again next time. Take care.